Voltron is a podcast intended for adults and is not suitable for those under the age of 18. Viewer discretion is advised. Me Grimlock checking out Good Morning Cybertron while munching on cesium salami. Or is it barely a baloney? Mm. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Good Morning Cybertron. I am your host, Scott. I asked the eternal question, why the hell has nobody knocked off the Viacon for like three or four bucks a piece? Jesus Christ, you could have printed your own money. That is a good question. Yeah, yeah. Knock off yes. the Viacons, please, somebody. I need, my, my, main, my main complaint is I only have one. And they're really expensive yeah. on eBay, so I'd like to have a fucking army. Yeah. What a terrible tragedy for an army builder to be expensive like that. Jeez. Right, right. Or maybe I'm just a cheap bastard. That possibility exists as well. With me today, all the way from Tennessee, he has escaped. Did you think the grave could hold him? It's Chase. I might be on the way to the grave. No. <laughs> With Omicron. My God, man. All those people... All those people tried to take you down for being like the one of the world's most prolific serial killers and Transformers fan, and now it's going to be, it, it's, the it's Chinese. It's going to be the Chinese <laughs> that take you down, man. And their manufactured virus. Truly, the smallest of God's creatures. There's a very, there's a very War of the Worlds theme going on here. You are vaccinated though, so it's it's going to be mild. It's just a pain in the ass. I get it. Oh, my God. Everybody I know that's, that has it who's been vaccinated, very, very mild case. Very mild Is, case. Do you think the Chinese are trying to kill Chase because every day when he wakes up, he sits straight up in his bed doing like an ab crunch, stretches out his arms and says, man, what a beautiful day to remember that Tiananmen Square happened. Just one more Asian hooker and I think I can stop my bloodlust, said for the 800th day in a row. <laughs> no, no, no. Asian ones are the safe ones. Oh, it's all the others. I see. Silly They're me. They're teaching him bird I have walk. yellow fever. Right. <laughs> Quite literally. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. All the way from the other guess... side of the world, it's Holson. Uh... Hello, hello, hello. How's things there in the land of ice and snow? Uh, good. Uh... Heating bill was expensive as fuck. Oh Electricity God. is expensive here. I paid. I paid oh. uh, this month. It was three hundred and thirty-nine dollars for my heating bill, and a hundred and twelve dollars for my electric. Mm. That was Ooh, that was yeah. mine. But I mean, thank God, thank God, the the price is high because I just take that money and spend it on stupid stuff like food and clothing. Uh, and your wife. <laughs> You know, maybe some health insurance. You know, uh -huh. silly me. From sunny, sunny California, it is Xavier. I am also here. Yeah. How much was your heating bill? I don't know. Yeah. Remember, California heating bill. What the fuck is that? We spent eight hundred dollars on air conditioning yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> I just, I just walk around all day in my Batman sweater and go, yeah, Shit. I'm fine. <laughs> I fucking hate the fact that you live in California and, and love the fact that you live in California all at the same time. Also, I, I love the fact you want to live here, in, and in a jealous rage, you pick the one city in the entire fucking state that's trying to secede. Right? I can't get away from people wanting to leave. I just wanted to move to Oroville because my dad worked there as a kid. All of a sudden, it's like, it that virus, Chinese fucking mask wearing sons of bitches, we're gone. <laughs> and the they funny took our jobs. They took the funny jobs. thing is, it's like, 
the Orville area has the Orville Dam. It's very it's very big uh, for like electro hydric power and all that, and it's actually on a few of the maps as a major stop. So my own city, which has Silicon Valley included in it and the headquarters of Google, it's not a major stopping point on any map, but south of us, uh, a major hub, San Jose is. And then as I was looking at one of these maps more recently, it's just like, oh, Orville's on here too. I know Scott's screaming in pain every time I, I just think about it. I got a rock. I got a rock I picked up from Orville whenever I was 10 years old. And it's just like, I was warm whenever I got this. That that day it was a hot July day. It was 114. What do you what do you it. sound what do you sound like the the pimp that slashed up the nurse? <laughs> what is kid you it know? Was, it was 114 oh, degrees. Oh, no. <laughs> it was oh, horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> she was studying horticulture. Touch you bitch. Anyway, uh, <laughs> all the way from British Columbia, Canada. It's Thomas. Hey, and also there was a Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> and also there was a Canadian. California. No, I blame Canada. <laughs> we we represent almost the entire world. Sweden, uh, Pennsylvania, which is like America's version of Canada. Really, when you stop and think oh, yeah. about it, we have like Johnstown. Our number one sport is hockey. We have farmers, <laughs> drug dealers. And maple syrup. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that sounds about you right. Gotta, you got to represent both sides of Canada: the the Thomas side and the Artem side. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And hey, while we're at it, prayers for Walter. Uh, he is. Yes. It seems it seems like Walter's on the mend, not out of the woods yet. But whenever you hit your knees tonight before you go to bed. Oh. You you tell you tell God that you love Walter and that you want him to love him too, uh, or whatever God, I was, deity, I was, whatever deity you pray to. I was looking at the list of things he was talking about and on the uh, the private chat, and I was just like, God, this poor guy. But it also reminded me of Sherry Terry's character from like Saturday Night Live, who's like, I got fifty nine hundred different prescriptions I need to take. Oh yeah, that too. God, yeah. God damn man. That dude, that dude really living up to the Rasputin bloodline. No two ways hell. about it. Shit. I'm pretty sure as he was laying there dying and they were probing him, he's like, you're not doing it fast enough. Yeah. And then he did it himself. <coughs> give, me, give me this anal probe, you little gray-headed motherfucker. Since I, sir, <laughs> sir, for the love of God, this is a flashlight. <laughs> it's just Walter jamming it up his own ass. Die like a man. I heard rodeo. Like a man. I got packages coming. Oh, man. Give me that upside down submarine. It's like, sir, <laughs> you give the security guard his back his gun. <laughs> Starts jamming the gun. No, watch ass. this. I, if I put it in the air, it floats. And they're like, sir, it doesn't. Oh, my God, it's floating. It's floating. Fuck. Walter's the Can Antichrist. Imagine, <laughs> you just imagine somebody using that as an excuse. That's not a gun. It's a submarine. Get that oh man a special God, pill. That's just like, <laughs> that that whole thing with the DA and their their whole thing of like they're not loot crates anymore. We're not encouraging gambling. They're surprise mechanics. <laughs> oh God! I uh I played a video game oh. this weekend called Bad Ben. Yes. Yeah. And Bad Ben, it's an online video game. You can get it for free. It's based on a movie. Uh, the guy the guy's name is Nigel Bach. He created this movie called Bad Ben. Essentially, Nigel Bach had some money, wanted to make a horror film. He hired an entire crew, wrote, sat down, wrote a script, and the day everybody was to, supposed to show up, nobody showed up. So he goes, let me fucking take care of this. And Nigel Bach picks up the script and goes, I'm fucking everybody now, and grabs his iPhone and his security system and films it in his own fucking house. And it, Bad Ben the movie, is delightful. And it spawned like seven sequels and two animated specials. And, what? and mm -hmm. the Game Grumps are huge fans. Yeah. Oh my god. We watched we watched it on Game Grumps and I went, I have to play it. Uh, Bad Ben has what's called a situational awareness mechanic. Um, where you <laughs> press the F button, he goes, God damn it! Fuck! And <laughs> shit. <laughs> And it like the movie's fucking hilarious. I've watched uh, 
I've watched the original Bad Ben and then Bad Ben number six, The Mandela Effect. Uh, Bad Ben eight is coming out in a few weeks. Bad Ben benign. It is. It's fantastic. My favorite part of it is he he behaves the way I like to think I would behave in a haunted house. Going like like, like haunted dolls running after him. Oh, you little bitch. You're fucking going in the trash now. I don't give a shit. You fucker. <laughs> Taking down crucifixes out of the house. Ain't nobody going to buy this house. I'm trying to flip with all this goddamn Christian stuff in here. Goes back and digs up the grave in the backyard. I don't need any of this. I hope you were a family pet. <laughs> it's like fucking skulls screaming at him. It's great. Bad. I love bad. how close to. I love how close to actual situational awareness that sounds. Fuck. <laughs> just press the yeah, F button. Just... <laughs> yes. And my favorite part of it is near the end of the game. In, in the Game Grumps video, near the end of the game, uh, like, Nigel's character, Tom Riley, he, he's gone into a room, and he thinks, he doesn't think it's haunted, he's thinking the house is, the how, like, the former owners are still living in the house, like, in the attic or the basement, so he goes into a room, and there's just body parts and fucking blood and a, and a dissected corpse laying on the table, and goes, Good, you got what you deserved, you bitch. I knew you were still here. <laughs> Wait a minute, who did this? <laughs> and then he, he walks into the void. In the Game Grumps game, he walks into the void, and it's just a blank. It's nothing. And then, God damn it. <laughs> hey, yes. like, he just He just says, to the void. Empty white nothingness. God damn it. <laughs> it's, it's per- <laughs> My wife and I, my wife and I have been walking around just going, God damn it, for a week now. Oh, my <laughs> God. And somebody else who has said, God damn it, is, a, is our current hero in Highway Clash. This poor son of a bitch, all he wanted to do was scratch his ass and, and live in the swamp. And all of a sudden, he's got a giant floating gun <laughs> shooting at him from a crate. Ass. So, ass. So, if you leave the crate and run, turn to page 42. If you try to drag the crate, turn to page 41. If you threaten to smash the microchips, turn to page 40. We had one vote in the comments. We had one vote for uh, leave the crate, one vote for smash the crate, and in the emails, a whopping five votes for smash the crate. Ooh. Okay. I think I think what's happened is people want to be fucking left alone, and you've pushed them too far. <laughs> you've absolutely <laughs> pushed them too far. What did we try to do? Scratch our ass. What did we try to do after that? Run away. What did we try to do? Leave. And it, nothing is working. So it's time to smash the fucking microchips. Let's turn to page 40. And we're, damn, we're right here. Okay, Megatron, you shout. Attack me. That's if you want your precious microchips destroyed. You throw a handful of chips on the ground and hold your foot over them. Seeing you ready to crush the precious chips, Megatron hesitates. The delay buys you the few moments needed for the Autobots to arrive. Prowl sends a steel fist flying against Rumble, who has just got to his feet, only to be knocked down again. Optimus Prime closes with the evil Megatron for a clash of robot titans. It would have been shitty if Megatron went, I was trying to destroy the ships. It's, fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> Turning to page 56. Blah, 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 46. <sighs> 53, 54, 50. Mm. Here we go. Dying. The mighty robots <laughs> grapple. Each pounding the other <laughs> with blows that could shatter rock. All you can do is watch helplessly. The clanging punches ring out across the heath. That's something English, I'm sure of it. Blasts of laser light and crackling antimatter energy burn the ground. At one moment, Megatron seems to be getting the upper hand. He has forced Optimus to the ground and is about to deliver a crushing cannon shot. But the Autobot leader rolls aside at the last moment catching his foe's leg in a steel grip and upending him with a titanic heave. That cannon shot hit you. You're a casualty. No, before Megatron can recover, 
Optimus seizes him and lifts him up into the air, then sends him crashing against the druid stone. The impact must have damaged Megatron's arm because it hangs limply by his sides as he gets up. Curse you, Optimus! He snarls, waving his other fist. We shall meet another day, and then I shall be the victor! With that, he disappears. Rumble whines as he sees his master abandoning him. The prowl has him pinned fast. Optimus laughs, places his huge metal hand on your shoulder, breaking your arm in 14 places and your neck in two. Megatron will not bother anyone for a while, as he will need repairs, like you, young human. We have recovered the microchips and captured Rumble. None of this could have been achieved without your help, my Earth friend. You cannot help wince with pain. The end. <laughs> does he does he then ask Billy if he has any questions about Saturday morning cartoons and then fly off into space? Yeah, it's uh, Tommy Kennedy. I gotta go see. <laughs> I gotta go see an American kid. You know the ones that matter. I mean, you're number two on the list because because you're English. You're not Chinese or African. Those are real bottom tier <laughs> people. <laughs> Away. <laughs> I guess we win again. <laughs> it's shit. Yeah, right? Right? Okay. Our luck is phenomenal. Yeah, I know. And I thought I thought there was all good endings, but then I started like digging through some of these books. They're not. We're just making really good choices. <laughs> are, are we? I think so. Because we're like, hey, the giant upside down alien submarine is breathing steam at me, ready to fire a shot. It ain't, uh, nah. it ain't my I'm arm and neck that's it. broken. This. Fuck this kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Fucking, fucking hell, man. Uh, as always, Good Morning uh, Cybertron is brought to you by SirToys.com. Oh my god. Look at this. It's not quite a knockoff Viacon. It's it's like a third party uh, Viacon APC TFO Galaxy Mob, thirty five dollars. Hmm. Uh, there's three in stock. What's he doing? Wait, I haven't seen this. I haven't even heard of APC T uh, Toys Galaxy Mob. No, I I. I, I Search it all and look. It looks a lot like the official one. I can't really tell any difference. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty official. Uh, uh, I think yeah. I'm going to be passing on this one for thirty-five dollars. I'll just buy the official one. Uh, no. Why not make the uh, uh, jet vehicle if you're going to do a. Oh. If you're gonna do any version, you know, you know the versions I would like to see. I'd like to see mm -hmm. the helicopter and the tank vehicle. It's a tank. I don't remember those. Oh, they weren't in the show. They were in some video game. Um, so oh. TF. Oh, Wiki. the uh, was it the Prime game that had Thunderwing and whatever? I think so. So vehicles. Uh, it makes sense for them to have those. I but I just never heard of them before. Let's see here. So there's Viacon, 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 Breakdown and Viacons, Viacons, Viacon. Fuck. Okay, hold on here. Tank Vehicon. This has got to get us to the right place. Images. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so there's the Tank Vehicon. Savage Tank Vehicon. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Looking like bludgeon. A little bit. A little bit. There we go. Characters. Vehicon <coughs> Tank. I'm kind of hoping I find... I find all of them. Oh. Huh. So there's... Got yeah. a little uh, stealth vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. Almost like a, a mech <laughs> thing. Let's see here. Search Amino hmm. for Vehicon. I don't even know what Amino is, but here I am. Think some sort of acid? Uh, sure, why mm. not? I can't, I can't find any others. That's weird. But there was like a, a Chopper Vehicon. And... Yeah, I would like to see. Oh, here we go. Here's a Truck Vehicon. 
Ugh. Yeah, there wow, is these, all sorts of These all of look stuff. like the Constructicons. Here we go. Oh, I found... Are these alternate forms of the... Oh, shit, they combine? Let's see. That'd be neat. Here we go. Oh. So there's standard, tank, truck, helicopter, and air. Great. Hmm. Yeah. I would not mind the shit out of a whole bunch of those. But unfortunately, the only one that's available is the air and that. Uh, they also... Wait, there's no upside down submarine? Come on. Well, now hold on here. We got Bingo Toys BT01 Silencer for $135. <coughs> you know me, though. I like my cheap ass plastic. <laughs> I like my cheap ass plastic. Yeah, I was looking at that anglerfish earlier. That looks fun. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is uh, awesome. Is that another one of those cubes? Jaw. Yeah, that's yeah, the 52 Toys cubes. Those things are amazing. They are. They really are. I just wish they turned into th something else besides a cube. Two cubes? There you go. See? A hexagon. A sphere. Look, Scott, your <laughs> wish came true in the worst possible way. It's like you won Twisted Metal. <laughs> a, a people will get that joke. <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Twisted metal. There is, there is though something, something on the horizon, and as soon as I see this available, you damn well better believe I'm gonna be grabbing it. I gotta let me see if I can find it here, and I know damn well Sir Toys is gonna have it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's on this page. New combiners. So the guys that the guys that do like the engineering combiner and the gun combiners and like the the police combiner they're making a space force combiner. Space force. This and you know this is going to be on Sir Toys. This is going to be on Sir Toys. So here's a satellite dish. Here's uh Jeff Bezos's penis rocket. Yep, there it is. Uh a shuttle. A... That looks a wait. Yeah. Shuttle. Oh, okay. That shuttle looks an awful lot like um <clears throat> one of the one one of the cyberverse figures, doesn't it? I was gonna actually look at. I kind of looked at it and went, "Oh, that's kind of be that'd be a neat little galaxy shuttle homage if it was bigger." Mm. Yeah, but the, the the way that uh, his chest looks, there's a isn't there an aircraft guy in the uh, cyberverse that looks a lot like that? Astro Train. I'm trying to remember what his name was. He was. Uh, I think he was one of the com one of the crash combiner guys. Maybe, um, maybe. I yeah, I'm get, trying to remember. I didn't get any crash combiners. Hmm, I didn't either. Cyberverse had crash combiners, or it had some sort of combiner. I think we got a lunar rover, <clears throat> and then they could they they form Cobra Commander. <laughs> they do. <laughs> oh my god. I'll take it. I, yeah, like I said, as soon as this is available, <coughs> this motherfucker's mine. Nice. In the Chris Lotta voice, Space Force! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just, it's just sunset is lovely when you can make it happen yourself. <laughs> Once a man. <laughs> <laughs> so, this will... I have no doubt in my mind. This will soon be available on Sir Toys. If you see anything here on Sir Toys that you like, for the love of God, go get yourself an angler fish. Uh, you know, do <laughs> us a favor. Click on the link down below, www.sirtoys.com, slash question mark A equals 16. You get what you want. You don't pay a penny more. Paul gets what he wants for your business. We get a little something on the side to keep the lights on. And we need to keep the lights on because... Well, okay, so there was this rumor that Hasbro wasn't going to Toy Fair, and then uh, there was this very real news that Toy Fair was canceled. Uh huh. By the way, Hello. I just remembered what that what that guy that shuttle looks like. He look he kind of vaguely reminds me of Storm Shot from the I R I D line. Toy Fair, Thomas. Focus. <sighs> Toy Fair. Toy Fair. Yes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. You know, I, I think this is a responsible thing because of just Omicron going everywhere and not everybody's getting vaccinated, you know, and I get it. That's stupid. that's that's your choice. But damn, man, I'd, I'd really like to go out without wearing a mask. 
Um, yeah. I'd like I'd like to go to Toy Fair 2022. Not that I could have afforded it, but yeah. So it's not happening this year. Um, so yeah, Hasbro ain't gonna be there. Uh, unfortunately, it's it kind of um, sucks. What month was this supposed to be? It's February 19th to to the 22nd. Ah, oh, okay. okay, next month. Yeah. So that, that's pretty close still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, uh, and it's a damn shame. That was like one of the... February's kind of a shit month for me. Um, because my mom's... My mom who passed away, her birthday's in February. And my uncle who passed away, his birthday's in February. And then my birthday's in February. And it's kind of like one of those deals of, wow, look at that. You survived and nobody else did. Yay, then, one more trip around. Then the there's also Valentine's Day, which means the death of love in February. Well, you know, I, I am looking forward to Valentine's Day. I'm I'm uh I'm I'm going to kick down the door to the bedroom and oh, no. I'm going to bend over and grab my ankles and show Ariana the dozen roses that I got for her nestled snugly in nature's vase. Now does Ariana <laughs> know that you're kicking down some random person's door? I, I hope so. This is. <laughs> oh no. She. <laughs> she was. Oh so, no. She was so so heartbroken here, on Monday. She has like a crush on her doctor, and her and her doctor are getting to be friends. And she like I always said, I always like I always tease her about it. It's like how dare you, bitch. You know, <laughs> it's. And she goes, but you're so cute. And then and then uh. This this week at her doctor's appointment, he showed her pictures of his girlfriend and had told her how much he loves her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it hey, was it's Walter. 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 Hey, Victus. Woe to the conquered. Fucking hell, man! Oh, from the bed. From the goddamn hospital bed. You fucking That's beast. Holy! Hi, Walter. Damn right, Walter. Are you are you Ooh. currently neighbors with anybody who's a fan of us? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> are oh, they... this is gonna be bad for their health. Are they getting sick of the posters <laughs> on the wall with the transformers and all the red thread connecting dots in the hospital? <laughs> oh, I missed you, buddy. Oh, it's good to see you up yeah. and around. Yeah. Yes, it, it, it is good to see me around. Yeah. Especially after I kind of fucking died there. Oh, fucking Ooh. hell. I, I take it it <laughs> did get that bad? A little bit. Atrial fibrillations. Oh, fuck, man. That's that Rasputin DNA kicking in, though. Yeah. Yep. And he's just he's just laughing it off and is like, quit fucking around, let's get <laughs> to the toys. <laughs> Your other, health bar. Kill me. your other health bar. Your other health bar kicked in and the boss music started. <laughs> no, 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 no. The health bar appeared. No, 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 no. The other health bar appeared and then the boss music started chanting in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is officially the Walter show now, isn't it? Yes. Uh, oh, my. This is one of those podcasts where it's like, you can't make this shit up. You have. The descendant of Rasputin who refuses to die. The bird lawyer who caught it who refuses to die. Holson who killed death. <laughs> and then Olsen there's just the rest death. of us. And what do we do? What do we do with all this power in one room? Yeah, what's the latest releases from Hasbro Pulse? We know what's important in life. <laughs> oh, the Genghis Khan speech. To get the exclusive toys from Hasbro Pulse. 20 minutes later, they're gone. Have it at the mail and show it to your enemies. And whoa, their widows scream in pain as you show them the Beast Wars sandstorm. These are the good things in life. Such <laughs> <laughs> oh. is the riddle of steel and flesh. Oh, my God. They just they heard Walter was in the hospital and they canceled, they canceled Toy Fair. That's all there was to it. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Uh, <coughs> like I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what to say. I, the last thing I was expecting was Walter on the show. Fuck! Oh, this feels yeah. good. I need a cigarette, guys. Yeah. 
<laughs> I need a cigarette and about three Kleenexes. I did spooge. I'm not oh, going to no. lie. Well, I mean, Walter, it's, it's good to see you, man. I can't believe you're here with us. This is going to be a great fucking show now. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. Hell yeah. And it's going to be not so great for the people next to you who have to hear our voices. <laughs> oh, I've got headphones. In. <laughs> oh. Hey. hey. That works. Hey. Well, buddy, at, at any point, if you get tired, it's too much for you. Just bow out, uh, but just know, oh, no, I'm good. Holy hell, we love you, man. It's great to see you, uh, man. It yeah, really man. is. <coughs> yeah, man. Dude, this uh. fuck your other podcasts. This dude's <laughs> this dude's <laughs> podcasting from the brink of death. So fuck <laughs> you, fuck all your other podcasts. <laughs> the show must go on. God, I'm pretty sure if we. At somewhere near Walter, there's a shop that has some sort of limited exclusive. Walter would just skate on down it, with, <laughs> sitting in the bed. It's like I'll be back. I'll be. Were... I'll be right back. Standing at the uh, saying the thing with an IV drip in one hand and his ass out. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh just, my! Just using the IV stand as a scooter. <laughs> 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 Scooty Puff Jr. Oh, fuck <laughs> me. Oh, my heavens. So, wow, I don't want to leave this. I don't want to leave this screen. Just, it's good to see you, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, but leave the screen I must. Like Walter said, it would be it would be wrong of us to just go, this is the Walter show now. Although it kind of yeah. is. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we were talking about Toy Fair 2022 canceled. Um, shit. It, it's like I said, it's, it's heartbreaking. It, it's always kind of nice. Like that Saturday, it, it, it harkens back. It harkens back to being, being a kid and just sitting there with a bowl of fucking horrible tasting sugar treats covered in milk <coughs> and watching cartoons as, as all the new toys parade by. And I'm going to yeah. miss that. I'm really going to miss that. Well, we, we probably won't have an actual toy fair presentation and all that, but I reckon Hasbro that the people on uh, Hasbro Pulse are probably putting together some kind of presentation to do on a fan first Friday at least. Mm. Yeah. So that that or they're already gearing up like a bunch of a, a, a press docket to give to IGN like they've been doing. Mm. Because yeah. we're two we're two years into this shit, they've done this twice already. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel bad about missing Toy Fair because it just means we're cutting out the middleman of oh, all your other shit from other licenses. I don't care about's up on display. Yeah, when do you yeah. get to the Transformers? That yeah, is the only true. The, the only the only real difference <laughs> is that there's no like post show after party where the people from like Cybertron and TFW take shitty pictures <laughs> and then someone notices out of the corner of their eye that there's actually new Cyberverse toys on a table that nobody fucking talked about yeah wait a minute do you see Krem Zeke under there I see a fucking yeah. Krem Zeke under there yeah 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 that yeah. kind of shit that's so. that's the only real loss you'll have a dude stand in front of a Devastator yeah <laughs> Well, 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 that was Nuremberg, not New York. Well, all sorts of bad stuff happened in Nuremberg. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you I what. Don't feel... I, I, I was kind of hoping for Toy Fair to have a uh, to have something from the new CEO of, yeah. oh, uh, right. uh, of, of Hasbro, <laughs> Mr. Cox. Mr. Cox. Uh our our very our very lovely friend Silver Moon Raccoon, uh, he uh, he he said, all Transformers fans get Cox. Yep, newly appointed. Bet you didn't see that coming. It's been reported with the rise of Cox, investors anticipate growth, expanding on Hasbro's <laughs> direction. Will we plan to be penetrating virgin markets? Said Cox. Not all are smelling, however, <laughs> as the CEO's reputation for being demanding and coming down hard on his staff has preceded him. Believe me, you don't want cocks up your ass, said one former employee. Only time will tell what's in store for the future of Hasbro. Oh my Best God. comment ever. God, um, I, I hate how Silver Moon Raccoon's funnier than all of us. Yeah! Oh, man. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Oh man, 
And Triclops, know. Triclops also said, Scott, this is Clem Fandango. Can you hear me? <laughs> Chase, I'm sorry. I, I interrupted to, you. Go ahead. Yeah. I need to know, at whatever point in time in history, that man's family chose to spell their name the way they did. Why not go with the X? <laughs> yeah, I know. Why not go with the X? I know. <clears throat> Why are you going to spell it? Is it, the is it like... <laughs> It's, it, it, it's entirely possible. It, it is entirely possible that this is one of those surnames that came along, like in ye olde times, where people named themselves after their profession, and maybe the cock the cocksmith, the, the the cocksmith was maybe like a rooster farmer. Sure. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Yeah. And, well, and, and they never, and they, you know, they never bothered changing the name when they came over on the Ellis Island because they were white. Yeah. What was that, Holson? Mm -hmm. I wonder what people called Hooker did for a living. Yeah. Whorehouse. Well, uh, oh wait, was. wait, no, hookers, hookers. You're gonna love this. <laughs> hookers are actually quilters. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yep. Huh. Those poor working women who just want to make a quilt for their... Those poor old ladies. <laughs> just making a quilt and sucking a dick. That's what, what they do. Oh, no. Giving they didn't, they didn't want to, but the money was real good. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, my, oh, I, my I had God. To, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I do did have to say this. Uh, there's a new Legends class hound, a G1 hound coming out, and his name is Scott. Uh, so, <laughs> Scott? New Age what? Toys really? NAH50 Scott. Huh. Huh. Wait, Nuwage? We talk about Nuwage all the time. Nuwage. Yeah. But yeah, Scott. <laughs> who, 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 who decided that Hound Hound looked like a Scott? I, I think he used a little. Scout, but it's the name closest to Scout, Scott. Oh, wait, that makes sense. Yeah, I, we're that's, not going to wait. Now, see, if I was going to make a third-party hound toy, I'd name it Labrador. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a call shenanigans if their next release is called Doug. <laughs> Comfortable <laughs> Doug. What if it's New Age Toys NA51 Xavier? It's like, uh, not, not quite there yet. And they're like Xavier Edmund. It's like, all right, getting a little spicier. It's just like. Here is your birth certificate that shows your birth name, <laughs> Javier Enrique Padilla. I'm pretty sure that's not me. Oh man, thank God that I thank God you changed your name because that got you into a lot of better jobs. Uh, <laughs> so we did. Hey, 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 I, I get that too, man. I, I have a Latin last name, so when people Lopez. hear Lopez, they're and then they see me, they're like, "But you're white." <laughs> I know, and. <laughs> <laughs> There's a comedian who did a stand-up special one time. He talked about being half Latino, and he said he he was trying to go for jobs, and they were like, "You list yourself as white, but we've detected some sort of uh, Mexican glaze within you. We don't understand how this is possible. We we, we sense a disturbance in the burrito, <laughs> in the churro. <laughs> oh my the god, chorizo." This Don't. this came out of nowhere, fucking sandstorm. Yeah, I don't know. Where that came from. The the first. The, oh, da -da 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 -da. Remember the the state of the fart, the Darude fart storm. <laughs> Looking yeah, what's the song called? Darude oh, yeah. fart storm. Darude fart storm. <laughs> yeah, because we were actually talking about sandstorm one day. This is how this is how I found this guy. This is uh, State of the Fart is the name of the guy using this under fair use. <coughs> Derude Fart Storm. Uh, fart Sandstorm. Do 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 do. Okay, so we won't play this whole thing, but here we oh, go. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. Why are you doing this to me? Why fart like it's 1999? <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. 
<laughs> you know what's uh, you know what's even more cursed is that he looks like Max. A little bit. A little bit. I gotta put Max's name up on the Patreon list too. I, I just realized the other day that is missing, so I need oh, to yeah. do that. But Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Yeah. This is this is nice because this is one of the figures. That I just didn't have. That, that I always wanted. I always wanted, like, the Beast Wars Sandstorm. And the fact that they put the toy head on this. Yes. Tickles yeah. the back of my scrotum like nobody's business. That and is... th this kind of opens up the floodgate for a whole bunch of old 3H BotCon era. Exactly. Stuff. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, we we have a pterosaur and a rat trap that can easily become a fractal and a pack rat. We have rumor listings of a Beast Wars Inferno that can turn into Antagony. Please, uh, yeah. we, we have we have a buzzworthy Bumblebee Fangry that can be turned into Windraiser. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if we I want that one as Windraiser. We we don't have a silver bolt right now, so it'll do. So I'm looking we'll right get now. And when a I man do. in a hospital bed tells you it'll do, <coughs> it'll fucking. It. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yes. Great point. <laughs> you know, I just looked up on eBay right now the the listing for the old 1999 Sandstorm. It's twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Big oof. Big oof. Mm -hmm. I'll oof. take this. Big oof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big but. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh oh. And you know what? That's the lowest listing because there's actually someone from Singapore listing theirs for three thousand. Jesus Christ! I thought Ooh. I overpaid. I bought an Andro yeah, base Singapore today, and I thought money. I overpaid thirty-five dollars for it. You know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that piece of promotional artwork for Kingdom that they showed off when they first showed off the line that had Polar Claw and Gears in it? Yeah. Oh. And apparently Polar Claw got canceled at some point. <laughs> well, gears, gears also how, got canceled. Yeah. How how perfect would it have been had we gotten a Polar Claw in Kingdom, and Jesus. then they turn and then they turn him into you know barbarian, barbarian from Botcon. Japan. Yeah. I mean, or, we still have survive. A and then do and then do a double and then do a double punch to go it, with them. Like that would make an amazing two pack right there. Let's not forget those weren't the only canceled figures in that artwork because we had the saber tooth fossilizer, fossilizer and the and alligator the fossilizer. I yeah. there also, wasn't there also a, a recolor of him called Survive? Yes. Yes. Uh, he he was sold as at regular <coughs> retail as part of Beast Wars Neo. They cool. also canceled a repack of the Earthroy Starscream too. Yeah, which no big loss because the yeah. studio series cape chair. Yeah, I, I have, yeah. I have the Bacon 2016 set, like the complete Bacon 2016 set, and if I sold that. I could still not afford Sandstorm to this day. Yeah, if I sold my <laughs> car, I couldn't insane. afford Sandstorm. Yeah. That's really fucking ridiculous how much it goes for. Yeah. This, well, this shit's a... like Pokemon cards. <laughs> well, it's a 20-some-odd-year-old figure. I know, but it's a... 20-some-odd-year... 20-year-old convention <clears throat> exclusive. I know, but it's Dude. in a fucking Bible yeah. box. <clears throat> yeah. Bible Scorpion. <clears throat> I think we could... It will get a dark side megatron as well. Oof. That, that's another big oof. I uh, I, that, I, that's, 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 that's one of those cases where I'm waiting for Hasbro Poles to shit on Fun Pub's toes again and just recolor Double Dealer. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh. Dark side megatron. Let's see here. It's not. It's not that one. It was the. Um, Am I saying the wrong name? Because I'm thinking of the Red Alert, Cybertron Red Alert. Oh, I know what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Red. No, that's, I think that's the right one. The Dark Side Megatron. It it's spelled with a Y because ah. Extreme Ninety. I see. Ah. Yeah, that's right. That's the Beast Wars Megatron that uh, was from the Red Alert mold. Yeah. Let's see yeah. here. Character's name Red Alert. 
Unicron Trilogy Red Alert, also voiced by <coughs> fucking Timmy Turner's the, dad. Uh-huh. Which of the, um, I remember, like, I think in the comic, I think because the, in, in the, um... Was it, a fun, was it the Fun Pub coming? I don't know if that was Fun Pub that made that. It was Fun was Pub. It, yeah, in that comic, that uh, the, the version of Megatron that w had the red alert mold, he was like a super pretender, and he could actually climb out of that. Yeah. That was neat. And there we go. Dark so that, Side Megatron. So that... That's right, boy. Yeah. I forgot about him, and I have him. Yeah. Jesus oh, oh, Christ, you can buy and sell each one of us. I could, <laughs> but then I would be a scumbag. I mean, an even worse version of a scumbag. Uh, this is this is great. This is fantastic. This is this oh, is yeah. exactly the type of shit that I love to see. Let's introduce yep. these characters to a whole new generation. It isn't even the fact that I don't have this toy. I'll, it's a little bit of that. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, you know, oh, you didn't grab Scorponok. Oh no, I I grabbed Scorponok, but I don't have oh. I don't have Beast Oh the, yeah, the OG yeah. one. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, but man oh man. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. Cannot cannot get enough of this. And the way that this was revealed was kind of weird. I think it was like a Prime versus Prime or a Tauntaun video where Yeah, like, he was re yeah, he was reviewing Kickback and then he's just like, "Oh, no biggie. Here's a sandstorm in the video. Here, to to kind of do a, a, a size comparison, here's sandstorm. Yeah, thanks. Perfect size comparison. I'll just dig mine out. Bastard. <laughs> and then immediately, I watched, I watched another YouTube, I, I watched another YouTube reviewer, uh, like, get on the phone and call Hasbro, like, that same day and go, they called Hasbro and reported him for stealing toys. <laughs> It was fucking hilarious because you could hear the woman on the other end go, a and yeah, uh -huh. oh, this is, like she, <laughs> she didn't say it, but she was like, oh, this fucker again, and she even said she even goes, is this? I'm not going to use the guy's real name. Is this Sammy <laughs> Jenkins again? <laughs> yeah, she was so uh, she was so done with that. You you heard it too, right? Yes, she was like, oh god, this. Is Oh, and like, I, I have just, not seen that, but that sounds hilarious. I just want to grab the guy and go, you stupid fuck. They know they're stealing them. This is free advertising for them. They don't care. They don't yeah. care. Their, their view is if some dude is willing to have an anus elastic enough to squeeze this into it in the factory, then they'll take the free advertising. Honestly, yeah. true. Because they, they decided to smuggle this instead of the latest G.I. Joe with its 1,000 points of articulation. Yeah, well, you know. You'd also that's... expect... Yeah. Go ahead, I'll dude. Go ahead. Joe uh, just, I just thought, you know, you'd expect something with dimensions like this to cause a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're uh, definitely, I th they've definitely had enough practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think Scott said it before. You'd be surprised at the elasticity of the human anus. It's almost like nourish. Nourish. Yes. Water shoved guns up there. I've heard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have. Well, not not well, not in my own. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> in fact, he's next to me in the hospital. Don't tell him what he did under anesthetic. He won't know. Um, oh, no. we got in hand images of drag strip. Guess what it does, boys? Hey, oh. hey, oh, it parts forms. Yeah, it's an it's a it's a dongle for collecting your flash drive data. This, I guess, it's this is how, I guess this is how it's going to uh, it's going to kind of <laughs> parts form uh, to make the arm of Menasaur because from what I'm hearing, like the cab transforms into Motormaster, but the trailer is kind of like the framework for Menasaur. Yep. Okay. Kind of like the third doing parties it. are doing. Yeah. I, I was I like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. Makes sense. Because, like... like Tony Montana. Exactly yeah. like Tony I, Montana. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think it makes sense if you're trying to go for, like, a more G1 accurate Menasaur. Yeah. Yeah. Because Menasaur, yeah, because Menasaur was really the only one who did weird shit like that. Mm -hmm. The Combiner Wars molds are still valid for everyone else, I'd say. Yeah, the 
the the the the the, the legs with the the robots on the back of the legs, and it's just like, hey, where'd the robots go? It's just like they're my calf muscles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I think we've analyzed this one to death. I, well, okay. So let let's <coughs> let's take a quick look at this here. That I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the uh, post. Aha! I found you. So some guy made this suggestion. Uh, there's there's rumors of like thunder clash being made from Motormaster, which I'm all for. But then he also said, okay, if we're going to do Motormaster, then the rest of the Turbo Masters, here is the way they could do them. So, you yeah. know, you do have Motormaster being Thunderclash. We don't know what Motormaster is going to look like. But, I mean, this to this. I think that one's called Flash. Mm. Scorch. I can see it. Scorch. And there is, you know, the the Oops. point uh, Oops. point blank uh, to... M- Point blank is probably going to be the Combiner Wars exclusive <coughs> punch counter punch. So you could easily get those shoulders back for point blank uh, to do uh, to do boss. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> side swipe to this guy. Okay. Is that rapido? This is uh let's see here. Very to flash. flash. This is flash. Okay. And then <coughs> drag strip to hurricane okay yeah, yeah. uh i can definitely okay. see this as if not mass retail release definitely selects release because these guys are on the fringe of who the hell are they yeah 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 but i mean yeah that they i would see those as either like selects or a store exclusive line i'll take it i'll take yeah, it I, absolutely Stuff has I'll been, take it as the Stuff has been like, like, so easy to get from Hasbro Pulse, in my opinion. Yeah. With a few exceptions. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like this year we know. Like this Iron year Pipe we know. Out. Yeah, like this year we know that uh, Amazon's doing a Wreckers subline. I could see them doing a uh, Turbo Masters versus Predators next year. Oh yeah, oh, I <laughs> like that. God. I, Look at all the semen on the floor. Oh, How do you get there? Jesus. I I need Amazon to stop having exclusives. <laughs> Come on. I'm still sitting here wanting Ironhide and Prowl and I know, Rat, Ratchet I, I, and the, I, I the keep, medic. God. I keep trying to pay down my credit card and it just keeps staying the same price. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a power level. It just keeps going higher and higher. When they announced the Golden Disc Collection, I think I was like, if I am on my best behavior for the next three months, I can make room <laughs> on my card for the entire Golden Disc Collection. So, and well, then luckily they enough, it. So, then they, yeah, they released like two of them early, and I'm like, why? Yeah. So my credit card, I, I have like an Amazon Prime Visa or MasterCard or something like that, right? So I use yeah. that credit card to buy my toys, but I also use it for business expenses, right? So if my boss goes, uh, Scott, we need we need to go get some electrical supplies at the local hardware store, or like today, today I took his dog to the vet, right? And I paid the vet bill with my card, hundred and four dollars. He comes, I come back, I I I uh, grab a check off him, I go deposit it into the bank account, boom, done, right? And uh, and it's a thing where like this this credit card is just like it's fucking used man it is used a whole hell of a lot and the other day like amazon amazon got a hold of me and went wow you use this credit card a lot let's up that level to ten thousand dollars shall we yes let's so now my my amazon credit card has a credit limit of 10 grand i can buy i can buy five houses in johnstown with that <laughs> oh my god oh. I, I am not looking forward to tomorrow where they go hey that that whole twitter thread you were looking at guess what it's already done ready to ship give us your money oh jesus christ <laughs> oh they'll do it they'll fucking do it our they'll algorithm yeah, says I... you were thinking about a new erector set here it is 80 dollars <laughs> <laughs> commander class erector didn't 
Weren't looking for that one, were you? But now you have to have it. Oh, and guess what? We put spring firing missiles back into this bitch. Another ten dollars. We made it so that it would go through the throat of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> actually something I'd like to see in Transformers again. Yeah. Missiles that actually offers. shoot. Yes, that too. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. I don't really miss the spring fire missiles. I don't either. It was, very, it was a very 90s thing. I kind of miss it. Yeah. It, it was a very cliche gimmick that I liked because I was like, oh cool, these, you know, these robots fire missiles. But the static guns, they're great as is. It yeah. just I know someone's going to go, you know what? We're, we are marketing to older adults. We could put spring-loaded missiles back in this thing if we wanted to <laughs> and give them away for 20 extra dollars. Yeah. And then it's just going to be that Twitter meme where the dude – or that TikTok meme where the dude's pounding the table with his credit card and then trying to hand it to you through the screen. And yeah. then he's pounding the table again. Why won't you let me buy this? <laughs> Although the, no, the, no. this is already pre-ordered. Fuck, I know. You were saying, Olsen. Those spring-loaded missiles on the Turbo Master and Predators, they were, they were really strong also. Like, really yes. strong. Oh, dude. I think they were actually technically illegal in the in the States. Oh, That's yeah. They, in the States, like, the joke is, like, Optimus Prime got neutered. <laughs> <laughs> the, the old uh, YouTube reviewer, I Love Mess had a segment one time where he was just like I'm looking for something new to do so he tested the firing strength of missiles on things <laughs> and he, he's just like what do you bet I can knock down that guy on the shelf over there from here and it's like ding you know it almost collapses the whole shelf <laughs> okay the most the most powerful spring loaded missile on a action figure or action figure vehicle that I've ever encountered the Kenner Terminator 2 toy line, the car. Yes. That came with the Mantis mask. Yes. The the missile launcher on that is it, it it's the Schwerer Gustav of friggin' missile launchers. It's the actual Christ. working version of the Cyberverse Red Alert missile. Basically. <laughs> Oh boy. And that and that was entirely spring powered. No air pump bullshit. No nothing. And they put a tiny Robert Patrick T one thousand figure next to the building. Arnold Schwarzenegger's T eight hundred shot at Robert Patrick, blew him into the building, knocking down the model, not intentionally yeah. destroying the model. Yeah. I remember that commercial. It was just like, T-800 has a car. And I was like, and I'm 10. And I'm like, the T-800 has a car? Why? I'll buy five. <laughs> yeah. Also, okay. Also, small gripe about Terminator here. The T-800 was designed for infiltration, specifically to infiltrate human resistance cells. Human resistance cells that are made out of half-starved fucking refugee people who are skin and bones, and you're going to infiltrate that with an eight-foot-tall, shredded Austrian Ubermensch? Obviously, because <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's also class warfare. There's There's got to be some of them who are just like, you know what, I'm going to hold on to a few buff Austrians because I'm rich and I can feed them. I don't like the poor. Just, um, just, just imagine a giant, like a big, huge, buff, Herculean-looking Schwarzenegger talking about scurvy. Yeah, <laughs> and like, and, you and know, I, I my like, wounds opened up at the same I, I, time. Yeah, I, I do not eat enough the oranges. <laughs> I just, I just want to see like a bunch of starving humans. All of a sudden, this guy walks in and goes, "What does think do you think, yeah?" And then kill him. Don't even bother if the dogs are barking. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. La, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We got images of Jesus Christ. This is expensive. Get suey. Oh, f oh. fuck. Choo choo. Choo choo. Run, running over my goddamn bank account with the train. Choo choo, We're on motherfucker. Train on your wallet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't afford Running this. A train on my wall. I can't afford this, and I will not purchase it as much as I want it. As good. Those as third party is. ones, they're cheaper, aren't they? The third party is cheaper. Yeah. Just yeah. 
<laughs> Look I, at the size <laughs> of that yam. Jesus Christ. Yep. It's Ambulon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My Except he my got windows. <laughs> Did he bash when? I. The, this I, uh, combining will, will cost you an arm and a leg, and you still won't have the complete set. <laughs> <laughs> it's super cool looking. I gotta give him that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Chef's kiss on this motherfucker. But yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, we're only yeah. two fifths of the way there at this point. <laughs> no. Two I, six. Uh, I. I yeah, I missed oh, the sorry. pre-orders on Shoki, so I'm skipping this one too. I am. I, I did buy. I did buy a knockoff hotspot and five knockoff uh, first aid. Uh, not first aids, but five knockoff uh, blades figures. Like mm. it was, and I, I've seen. I've seen that custom Raiden. Yeah, and where you I, knock where you knock the rotors off the Alpha Bravos. Yeah, custom Transformers, uh, Transformers <coughs> Raiden. Uh, oh, with all the, my, the with all the Alpha my, Bravos. Yeah, yeah. This one. Sorry. Ugh. Although I think for Raiden, there's a couple of square ones like Yuki Kazi here. So you might actually be better off. Uh, using uh, the chromium mold. Well, uh, they don't make a knockoff chromium mold. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. what what I'm looking at here is basically, basically, if I can get like one or two of these down, I could probably yeah. make a 3D printable upgrade kit. Yeah. To to create yep. this. So yeah. that's kind of what I'm working on. Okay. Uh, the chromium mold, or like the that mold ish looking, the, the fembot the moon, mold, the the moon racer mold. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like the arm mode is fine, but like that leg mode is not very solid. Oh, like, that the leg, leg thing, mode's a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> it does not like to stick together. Yeah, not at all. No. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I really like the mold. It's fine. Yeah. Leg, it's terrible. That's why, like, when... <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but, like, the ones I have, like, the heavy retool that got turned into the Seacon mold, that one s stays together a lot better than, like, the car version. Yeah. Yes. I don't know why. God. Let's see here. <clears throat> I love that Seacon mold. Those Seacon that, molds that... are amazing. Oh, yeah. Honestly, all of those Seacons were fucking amazing. And the fact yeah, that we got we got uh, a God Neptune out that of one, but well. two versions. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. God Impressive. Neptune is like, I love my God Neptune. I've always where's loved that where's my lob hammer though? I want lob True. hammer too. Why didn't we get that as a, like a separate? Selects release. I guess Japan yeah, doesn't nice. want American money. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Clear, clearly, Takara does not want my money. Because I will I mean, give it. They, I will give it. They, I was gonna say, haven't they done like a lot of things in those uh, those little mangas that are like, wow, that'd be that's such a cool idea. Why isn't this a toy? They did. I don't know. I I'll go ahead. Actually, and actually a leeway for that sort of thing. Actually, spe speaking of Takara not wanting my money, where's my Gil Thor? You yeah. have, you have, you you have the Siege Optimus mold right fucking there. All you have to do is add some extra weapons <sighs> and bullshit to him, and there you go. That's a Gilther. You know, you know, paint paint him paint him in Megatron silver from the waist down. Give him his lightning bolt chest tats. And then just, you know, tool up some extra guns, give them to them. Boom. It wouldn't be that extensive a remold. Exactly. All of the, all of the guns that you'd at, you would actually, honestly, you don't even need to remold them that 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 much. Not, not, yeah, you don't. Maybe some maybe some new legs if you want to get fancy. But if but, but if you just all, the only them, real yeah. the only new tooling you'd need is extra gun. Hmm. hmm. Well, they will definitely not do it because they're like, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? As soon as we get through our eighth version of Optimus and paint him uh, neon purple. Yeah. And sell him with a Shattered Glass comic. We'll get back to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I like Gitsui, but damn the money. Damn the it money. It is a shame because that is – my dream has always been to see – of like an official masterpiece combiner because I always thought they should have done Devastator, and it was yeah. Well, the thing everyone thought they should do Devastator, and then yeah. they throw the curviest of balls with which is great. Rated. Which is great when because it's like by the time we got around to getting a masterpiece version of a combiner, they were like, "Well, Devastator's been done to death already by third party. No one's gonna buy our Devastator when there's yeah. literally so many versions of someone else's version out there." Exactly. Let's do rated. And uh. see, that's the, that's what I keep saying. You know, everyone's doing the same goddamn thing. If you want to mm -hmm. make your money, you have to fucking innovate. Sun Tzu said it best. You win the battle by going where there is no war. Yeah, yeah. true. Make make this version Which of is what? save lines from Terminator 2. <clears throat> Chill out, Dequad. Yeah. I mean, that's why MMC is doing so well because they just keep doing IDW characters. And no one else is doing IDW characters except Other for than... Iron Factory, who are but that's doing a it at a different who are doing it at legend scale. Yep. And speaking of Iron Factory, now they've got their freaking Yoshoi Shushimaru fucking line of weird ass samurai looking dudes. Yeah. And I am all aboard for fucking Shogun Grimlock. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will say that line. Uh, I was like, why? And but now I'm just like, I really like. The, I like the lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Oof. There's some great creativity there with that, and then it's a. Uh... It's going to be affordable, which is great. And then I'm just like, oh, you know what? If you guys maybe, and I hate to say crib from Masterpiece line and just do their version of Shoki, but make them like, I don't know, Shogunki or something like that. That'd be cool. Give them like, samurai armor. Yeah. 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 All, all, also, as an old school Yu-Gi-Oh player, I love the fact that their bludgeon turns into fucking Oni Tank T-34. <laughs> oh my god, you're right, it does! Yeah, you, yeah, you showed me that. Yeah. Ha! Ah, that's actually... That's a good crossover. <laughs> yeah. That's a great crossover. Now, where's my XYZ Dragon Cannon? <laughs> oh, uh, it's coming no, from no, no, Magic no, where, the where, Gathering. Where's my transformer that turns into Gradius? <laughs> Fuck oh, yes, I that. would fucking take a Vic Viper every goddamn day of the week. Yeah. Dude, they, if that proves successful, then you can move on to more, you know, fertile territory and do all of Parodius. <laughs> Isn't, uh, wait, this, doesn't the... Uh, doesn't, I, want, I want a bunch of gay men uh, with cannons coming out of their heads. Isn't there a cyber? Isn't there a cyberverse Starscream that kind of turns into the Vic Viper? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, the delu the deluxe, the titanium line kind of looks like Vic Vipers. Uh, not really. For the Vic Vipers, yeah, you no. got to have like the wings uh, more ahead than the cockpit, and not in the yeah. Cyclonus way. Yeah, and yeah, it creates these prongs in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's time to move on to looky what I found. Guest of honor, Walter. I know you probably I do not don't. Have anything. Yeah, that's. I, I do not. I just, I just like looking at you, dude. It's, you know what? I've Walter, never been so happy to see a mountain man in all my life. Just for my amusement, can you can you pan left and right so we can see what's next to you? Not really. My laptop's on life support. Never mind. Because the the battery is fucked, so I have to keep the <coughs> AC adapter in, and if I jiggle that AC adapter too much, it's gonna fall out and. I'll lose my signal. Fucking okay. laptop on life say, support, and you're sitting in a hospital. Do you think they could do something about that bullshit? <laughs> the laptop's on life support. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> Anymore. Really, I'm just staying you... in the hospital to make sure my laptop makes it. <laughs> you, have, yes. you have the ball of bus nearby, so you can threaten it when you tried to fucking kill me. I'll kill your fucking family. <laughs> Sadly, no. Oh man! Oh man! Are you kidding me? I would use I would use that for so much black magic. Oh my god! Can you imagine <laughs> yes. the powers that's in that thing? Yeah. What is it called again? When you uh, what what is that called? 
what is that? That disgusting. Like a charm, right? <laughs> no, it's a. There's an official term because a ball of hair taken from a witch's stomach has some sort of magical properties in old arcane Wiccan rituals. Yeah. Okay. And I read about this in Sandman comics because I was like, Neil Gaiman's a fucking freak. This shit's actually real. Hair. From so witches. I actually, I actually know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> So if that thing was in Walter's possession, he could no doubt sacrifice it to grant himself a magical wish. It is called the Witch's Bullet. Yep. Bullet. There we go. Let's see. If, if, if I had the ball of snot that tried to kill me, I could probably bind an elder god to the hull of the battleship Bismarck. <laughs> the SS For Cthulhu, a rail Cthulhu fuck you. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Call it the SS Innsmouth. There you go. Oh, I like it. Xavier, buddy, uh, do you have a look at what I found? Uh, it turns out I'm sharing one with Thomas, so I'm going to pass my looky over to Thomas. Well, Thomas, oh. here you are. Yeah, I found the um, I found this video on YouTube just last night of um, somebody did it. Somebody did an animation of Hot Rod writing Rekgar that was based in uh, based on the movie Akira. It's on the it's on the it's on the Facebook page. Nice. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw that. So good. yeah. Did you like? Have, did you notice how how close it is to traditional animation? Yes, yeah. it's very smooth. Like it's almost sixty frames per second smooth. Yeah. 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 yeah like pretty sweet. Hasbro needs to see that, and everyone just needs to tell them. You know, see this. Do this. Do like, this. Yeah fucking do yeah. it. Yeah. Number one, they'll claim, oh, that's copyright. <clears throat> and number two, they don't give a shit about the animation quality of the, the the Transformers cartoons as long as it sells the fucking product. Yeah. That is true. But I mean, it, like the backgrounds yeah, look but... really look repro looked appropriate and they just made everything. It, like, it just, oh. This, the one thing that killed me, though, was, like, how good the slide looked on as they're finishing up the video as Rodimus is, and Rek are, like, going for that Akira classic anime-style slide. And I was like, that's yeah. the end of the video. That's it. That's all you get. And I'm like, no! I don't need more. Hey, Chase? <laughs> yeah? Do you have a look at what yeah. I found? Uh... Well, I noticed that it wasn't in the show notes, but apparently there's images of, like, the Legacy RC now. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> we've seen Legacy RC time and time yeah. and time again. Well, what I does watched she look the... like? It looks like a dude! Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pro well, probably, have... because she's... probably because she's going to get turned into Road Rocket at some point. Yeah, then they should have made I... Road Rocket first. Uh-huh. <laughs> After seeing her transformation and such, though... And seeing how, like, all the kibble lays in her robot mode, it looks more like a uh, Cybertron Ransack. Hmm. I could see that. <laughs> I'd be uh -huh. okay with that. I would. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I could see both, because the way her uh, wheel weapon thing comes off and splits apart and mounts, and mounts up, I could yeah. easily see that, you know, being oriented ro uh, road rocket style. Yeah, and if you're going for a new road rocket, there's at least three, maybe four repaints if you want to get fancy that you could do. You could, uh, let's see, you start off with road rocket from G2. You do robot masters road road rocket. You do the canceled G2 laser cycle jazz, rid uh, rid rid O one sideways. And if and if you really want to get obscure, Microman LED powers laser cycle. The, the God, scary thing is Walter dive. just knows this from memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good lord. I was I was actually telling one of my friends, Walter cannot die because the amount of Transformers knowledge that would be lost is terrifying. It'd be like the <laughs> loss of the Pharaoh Taxus. Shit. Right here. Yeah. This dude, this dude you're looking at right now on the screen is the fucking Library of Alexandria of Transformers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Transformia. Yeah. I'm not counting like, TF Wiki, but yeah. hell, like, you know shit that even the Wiki doesn't mention. Yeah, you remember the Pharaoh Taxis, right? Uh, Gesundheit. Yep. There we go. 
Wholesome buddy, do you have a look at what I found? I do not, sadly. Oh, I guess it's up to me here. Uh, this you is my this is my look at what I found. I I really fucking enjoy really weird custom ideas. And here's a dude that took ironworks and pipes and turned them into a rector in high tower. Oh, I saw that on Twitter. Oh, that's Same. cool. <laughs> Actually, you probably saw that on my Twitter. Because I, I think I did. It, it, I probably. Yeah. See, the only problem I see with this is like it says, uh, pa like the wheel panel, new wheel panels for the shoulders on that RID high tower one. Yeah. But one of the shoulders ends up becoming the crane. <laughs> Here's what we do. Here's what we do, people. I know we can't call him a rector. But we can call him Cox in honor of the new C CEO. <laughs> what's, yeah. What, what's his? Fr I don't even know his first name. I just know him as Cox. Oh, uh, Chris Cox. Christopher Cox. <laughs> That's yep. it. Your, your name's. You know what? No, we're gonna do one better in honor of Spider Man. His name is now Peter. Yep, Peter Cox. <laughs> Peter Does Cox. He get some Peter Tingle. Good. Cox Peter. Dickman. Cox Dickman. <laughs> there was a bus driver. There's the town I grew up up just north of me. I grew up in Salisbury, Pennsylvania, but just north of me, there's a town called Myersdale. In Myersdale, oh, no. there was a bus driver named Dick Stiffy Jr. <laughs> 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 Jr. Jr. They, they Jr. named two people Dick Stiffy. Right? One person was <laughs> named Dick Stiffy and went, life was fine for me. And named his son that. <laughs> I, oh my god! I don't have what? one as dirty, but I do have an instance where I was uh, at a job, and they said, "If you are going to be in the customer service team, please be aware that some people that shop at our store have interesting names. Please do not laugh." One guy, no joke, regular customer when I used to work at an electronics store, his name was Curly Fry. God wow. Man. I I I went to a school with a dude named Daniel. D A N apostrophe L. Dude had fucking punctuation in his goddamn name. Like a Klingon proverb. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's I was a about shame. to say something so out of pocket. <laughs> that's a shame. I just I just looked it up. Uh, uh -huh. Dick Stiffy Sr., Richard Hammond Stiffy, died in 2012. Aww. <clears throat> so let's Did he see. at least get to see Avengers? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> preceded in death by Scissors, Mr. Fatty. Let's see. Children. Uh, tch -tch -tch, yep. Dick Stiffy Jr. My God. <laughs> uh, on honestly, that is not a case of I had an okay childhood. Here, you take this name too. That is the case... <laughs> That is definitely a case of I had to fucking suffer. You're going to fucking that shit, suffer. Dude. Seriously. US Honestly. Na U.S. Navy Seabees veteran having served in the Korean War. Motherfucker. God damn, <laughs> man. You uh, you make fun of a Korean War veteran. Like, hey, Dick Stiffy. You pull back a bloody stump. That's I mean, <laughs> it'd be, I, oh. I would have loved it if Senior had a daughter. And he's just like, oh, you're Dick Stiffy. Junior, and it's like, but this is a girl. Did I stutter? Did I stutter? <laughs> oh, oh no. fuck me! Moving on to reinforcements from Cybertron. I got nothing this week, Transformers-wise, but I do feel the need to show off. Uh, I 3D printed off a uh, tra Star Wars fuck trash monster. So there is the <laughs> trash monster from Star Wars. Hey, Ooh. roar! Uh, oh, it's a uh, shit. <laughs> I can't think of its name. Dianoga. Dianoga. Yeah, there he is. See, and... I was. Oh, go ahead, Chase. I was thinking something close to that. Yeah, I, I was gonna say I was thinking something close to that, but I was gonna say Dagobah. And I'm like, no, that's the Yoda planet. Dino... <laughs> Although Dianogus may be from Dagobah, we don't know that. That seems to be a good place for them. And uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I loved uh, Kong versus Godzilla. Uh, fantastic movie. And I did get the toys. I got like the Mecha Godzilla. I got Kong. I got I got Godzilla himself. But there was somebody missing from that lineup. 3D printing to the rescue. I printed out Titanus Doug. 
<laughs> that's what they're called the little frog godzilla monster whenever they go down to the earth's core and he's just sort of sitting there his name's doug and the name of this file was doug fatter than ever um, <laughs> it looks like a gorgon opposite right it looks like a yeah i'm really happy with the paint job i did on him too really really happy yeah oh from the top it looks like a crocodile almost. yeah so there we go. Yeah. Titanus Doug. <laughs> Bow down before him. I want to see Godzilla versus Doug. I think we all know who would win. Uh, Walter, reinforcements? Uh, I haven't had a chance to go home and open any of them, but I've got the first two Golden Disc Collection sets, so Puffer and Road Ranger, Jackpot, and a Shattered Glass uh, Jetfire waiting. Me. Nice. Ooh. You're you're gonna love. You're gonna love. Uh, uh, my the, nuts. The, my nuts. You're gonna love the uh, <laughs> the puffer and road ranger, and you're gonna be oh, really yeah. disappointed with the jackpot. <laughs> well, that, that sucks because I have jackpot coming tomorrow. <laughs> jackpot. <Yeah. laughs> jackpot's head is so misshapen. The other transformers make fun of him. John Malkovich is playing jackpot in the movie. It's. Yep. He kind of, his head kind of looks like Predaking's head, you know, a few seconds after Diatlas cut him in half. Yeah. It's not yeah. good. Not good. Well, I, <laughs> Did I forget that happened. I, I've heard there's some variant and there's some people's who's turned out okay. I hope mine's that. <laughs> yeah. Mine wasn't. Mine yeah, mine either. Sure as fuck wasn't. Uh, Xavier, buddy, do you have any reinforcements this week? Uh, I got Cyberverse Adventure Slag again, because I just really like a Stegosaurus. Hey. And I found Blaster. Oh, you bastard. At Target, right? You can find him yes. at Target. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Got him. God damn it, man. I just want to blast. No, he's... I don't care. I, I don't like going out. Uh, I don't like going out to, uh, to, to fucking stores anymore. And honestly, I got him ordered from Big Bad Toy Store. It's it's worth it. If I end up at Same. Walmart, I I, I peek it in. I, I can fucking wait for it. I'm not upset. I keep telling myself. Uh, how about you, Holson? <laughs> Any reinforcements uh, this week? Uh, I haven't bought anything, but I made something. I made a little plane oh. from uh, uh, Warhammer. My own kind of design. Oh. Wow. That's not yeah. bad. Look at that shit. Yeah, so made from uh, barbecue sticks, uh, cardboard, <laughs> broken really? toys. Yeah. Wait, do you guys <laughs> hold on? Do you guys hear that? Is that the MacGyver theme for Holson? <laughs> it's very off. It's it's it, it's very authentically orky. Yeah. <laughs> I was going yeah. for. Uh, a little grot fly or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, my pipe, my pipes shipped. Oh, I oh, thought you, I thought you meant like a bong. <laughs> no, so so that means that by the time I get home and but and start opening packages, I'll have gone from one copy of the Huffer Mold to four. I gotta ask. I think the thing, <laughs> is, is there a timeline for you getting home now, or is it still we'll wait and see? We're st we're still waiting and seeing. You know, the thing is with Walter in recovery, I'm pretty sure his powers have somehow increased tenfold because I'm pretty damn sure he didn't even check an email. <laughs> Just something in his brain got alerted. Yeah. Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Well, now I'm a little afraid. Uh, Chase? <laughs> From, one, oh. from the fear of one to the fear of another. You 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 will bow before your half dead king. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be... he's dead may never die. Even at yeah. half dead, he's ten times more alive than any of us. <laughs> With the possible exception probably... of Holson. <laughs> <laughs> I hereby embrace my lichdom. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, Chase, buddy, any reinforcements this week? I have a list. <laughs> It'll Ooh. be a while before I'm Ooh. on next, but this is all I've got since I believe the last time I was on. Buckle down, folks. It's going to take a while. Uh, I got Kingdom Pipes, Slammer, the Waspinator, Shadow Panther, the, the two-pack of Sideswipe and Skywarp, 
Mirage and Grimlock's two pack as well. Tigatron and the Ark. Oh, that's okay. not bad. That's, that was, like a, got, week. That was yeah. like a week for me. No, no, no. There's oh. more. No, that's just Kingdom. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's just that's, that's <clears throat> pussy reinforcements, Chase. When are you going to bring the heat? Yeah. <clears throat> I got with the uh, the crossover collaborative or whatever we're calling it now. I got Tyrannicon J and JP93. JP93 scares me to death. Good lord. <laughs> uh, Gigawatt and Draculus. Mm -hmm. Then Studio oh. Studio Series. I got Nod, Jolt, ROTF, Bumblebee, ROTF, Sideswipe, the Bumblebee movie, Soundwave, and Retgar. I got the Vintage Beast Wars, Megatron, Cheetor, Rat Trap, and Primal. <clears throat> I got the Worlds Collide Four Pack. Thank you, Xavier. <clears throat> no problem. Uh, and I found. Um, like just randomly, I found the the original War for Cybertron Optimus, the Generations mold, <laughs> the Prime Ultra Magnus, and a complete Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus. Oh, Man. and today I got MMC Mintus in, so now I have IDW wrong. Damn! I really wanted I've to been, get something. I've been random. fiddling with the entire show because I love him very much. <laughs> I just want to get something random one of these days and just go, yeah, I got uh, the whole entire lineup of Chuck Norris and his Karate Commandos for 20 cents off eBay. Honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll have that next week. <laughs> oh, no. After Thomas, Actually, after Thomas does his reinforcements, I'll show you what I, uh, what I purchased yeah. today. Thomas, what are your reinforcements for this week? Oh, nothing at all. Well, there you go. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> So that was I, quick. I ended up getting, uh, you know what? Let me bring it up over here first. Um, boop. We're, I'm going to go to eBay. I just don't want to accidentally show my address again and then have to fucking e uh, edit the shit out of this. Um, oh, yes. eBay and let's see here. There we go. And... Okay, here we go. So you can see here, congrats, Tapeworm of Unicron. Skeets15 accepted your offer of $20. What did my $20 get me? The fucking Andro base. Hey, look at the condition on that. Yeah, look at that. That's really good. Like, there's some stickers right there. Right there. So this, this was like a kind of like a, not a knockoff, but like a third-party carrying case spaceship for Transformers and GoBots. Oh, now the thing that makes this, uh, <coughs> this part is broken, but it looks like it's like a piece missing. It looks like I can 3d print a piece and bring this right back to condition. I can even do it in white plastic, right? Yep. So the weird thing about this is, and Walter is going to help me out with this. I know he knows what I'm fucking talking about. The beast wars, Japan, they, they looked at the oh, Andro base and went, does look it is. It does look like that little microverse playset that came with the Magnavoss. Right. Yeah. Right. The gung Ho, right? Uh, gung Ho, yeah. yes. We're, gung Ho? Wait, no. I was think it so. the Gung Ho? No, I think the Gung well, Ho was the name of the... Uh, that's the ship in... In Neo, yeah. not from Tango. Oh, my bad. That's right. That's right, it is. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, think, I was going to say, Gung Ho is a big convoy ship. Hold on here. Andro. Yeah. I'll yes. just look up Andro Base. Because I saw it today. The Maximal Mobile Base. There we go. Yeah. It oh. is the Maximal Mobile Base. It's the same mold. I mean, here, yeah, hold it on looks here. dead yep. on like it. Yeah. How can you mistake that handle that they animated in there? It's like, why does our spaceship have a handle? Right? That's the. Fuck you, Chuck. That's what the actual didn't they actually... that look like. And here it uh, is. Oh, here it is. Transformers oh. land. There's the toy. So there's like some, there's the Andro base. And like I said, the one I <laughs> got, the one I got looks in really good condition. Usually the stickers are pretty shit. And I think I'm going to be able to just go in there with some paste and paste the stickers down. Right? Yeah. That That's looks, good. Looks, yeah. Looks really good. Not no worn. Yellow. Doesn't look yellow. Are you going to, uh, yeah. Am I going to? I was to... actually going to ask. 
Are you going to paint it? Nope. Make it look more like the mobile base? If I get a second one, I may. Okay. If I get a maybe, second one, I mean, maybe, this may be the hard Mr. Hard Hat ship. <laughs> maybe. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Okay. Goddamn base. Yeah. But <laughs> if we look at this here, there's the Andro base. And then years later, the Andro base was made in 1985. Yes. And you can see fucking GoBots on yep. the thing. And the, the yep. name of the company was Blue Box, right? Uh -huh. And there it is. It's, it's silver that's, now. It's the same damn toy with some remolding. Hasbro knocked yep. off another toy. And it it uh, I think that version yeah, it has like Tripreticus or Triple Dacus in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. It's is it worse or better with the face? I can't tell. Uh it's always better with the face. That yeah. weird that weird <clears throat> space Easter Island Mohai face. It's Moses <laughs> from South Park. Oh, <laughs> years. But no, no. So, like, you want you want weird? Next week I'm getting weird. No? Yeah, Woo. that's... that. This may be, like, the second weirdest base former I will ever own. Uh, my first weirdest one yeah, is Cargantua. Cargantua? Cargantua. <laughs> behold, behold Cargantua, whose base yep. mode is, let me just shoot these tracks out of my arm. So <laughs> I do, I do own a Cargantua and like his little head flips open and, and like his chest flips open and you can put a car in there and run diagnostics on it. It's fucking insane. Getting almost a bit of a like a diaclone feel, but in a really weird way. I bought Cargantua. The hell is that thing? I I got Cargantua for nine dollars, and it's the tallest robot I own. This thing's fucking <laughs> huge. It's like two and That's a half it. feet tall. Really? So it even it's, towers over wait. Unicron. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, I think it's bigger than Unicron. Uh, he may be he may be slightly bigger than Unicron. Holy shit. So, like, his big dome head could be, like, I don't know, one of those glass bubblegum dispensers. Dude, I'm... this thing is so fucking weird looking. I want to get one of my own and customize it into the Megas XLR. I'm, I'm trying so, to find... So, like... what you're, so, what you're saying is, is this thing is so big compared to Unicron that his head is a Dyson sphere. Yeah. <laughs> possibly. Like, I'm trying to find, like, a size comparison, and the best I've been able to find so far is, uh... Well, well, there, there he is with, like, a large matchbox car at his feet. Yeah. There, there he is with a child. <laughs> oh, my God, he's got whips. He's, he's the bullwhip, or that, whatever his name God is. God damn it, man, that's his base mode. Don't fuck with his base <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> the thing's matchbox? Yeah. Why haven't they re-released this? <laughs> right? they know better. It's Cargantua, Monster of the Freeways. Brain car included. Brain car. <laughs> Brain car. And the great thing is, like, you can, like, trap other cars and, like, storm in his arms and his chest and his legs. I feel like Brain Car needs to be a character from that Regeneration 1 comic that can only say the word Brain Car. <laughs> there, there's, brain car. there we go. There's, there's Cargantua in all his wow. glory. What's the handle for? For carrying the fucker. Uh, you can't carry Cargantua. Cargantua, Cargantua carries, carries you. you. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, oh, shit. Uh, there's one. With, mine doesn't have the tracks. So there, there's one with the tracks. Oh, he's got him like Fortress Maximus's uh, yeah, tracks. He kind of wears them the same way. Yeah. This this is Cargantua asking, "What are you doing in his home?" Yeah. <laughs> See, I need to, I need to find those tracks. I wonder if just standard Matchbox tracks would work. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Does is Matchbox a even is that, sell tracks? Matchbox. Is that an official Cargantua challenge coin? I mean, I see more Hot Wheels, like, tracks and stuff than Matchbox, because they're, like, the same size. Scott, if we're going to go down a weird rabbit hole, I'm going to suggest something. Go for it. <clears throat> it's Chuck Norris PSAs. 
No, oh, that is a weird rabbit hole. That, that's that is a weird. weird. Hi. I'm gonna shoot this to you. Chuck and Norris. You better fucking play this. Chuck Norris PSAs. Hold on, I'm shooting the link to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Facebook or. Okay. <laughs> right here in the chit. Right here in the googs. Okay. Once again, under fair play. Uh, here we go. Get ready. You know. There are people in the world who believe that violence is the answer to every problem. They're always the first ones to clench a fist or throw a punch. They think they always have to fight. The gang and I ran into the claw and some of his more nasty friends while we were transporting a uh, state-of-the-art robot on what turned out to be a chair train. <laughs> State of the I gotta art see. robot. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, Doctor Claw and me. <laughs> okay, I need to see the rest of these. This is. Sometimes. Is Chuck Norris so still alive? They'll do anything yes. to get their own way. How? You know the kind. Bullies who pick on other kids in the schoolyard, they never like to play fair. Just like the claw when he tried to bully me. <laughs> I bet this turned a lot of boys gay. You need it in the martial yeah. arts, and you need it in everyday life. That, the, there's a lot of Some irony there. may mean giving up something now, or something more important later. Considering how it much of a super a Republican work, Chuck Norris is, yeah. Sometimes it's not a lot of fun. Yeah, he is. is Self-control I mean. pays off. Yeah. Yep. Sadly. You'll see in this adventure. Yeah, I remember him saying something about there being like Obama causing the end of the world. There's no better physical specimen than me, and I'd like to match him. Have you ever made a mistake? Of course you have. We all have. Many times it's hard to face up to that mistake. Because it means you may be laughed at or punished. But when you do face oh, up to your mistake, you know you'll never do it again. And you become a much stronger person. Walter, I blame you for my addiction to MMC, man. The island of the walking dead. <laughs> I blame Walter for my addiction to Chuck Norris. Wait, blame, blame me for what now? My, my addiction, addiction to, 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 mastermind, to mastermind. Have you ever made a mistake? Sure, we all have. But whenever you man up to a mistake... You enter the island of the Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Is so this man good. not a gold mine? <laughs> Fucking hell. That shit happened. Yeah. Those were the bumpers on the end of his his cartoons. The thing that amazes yeah. me, the thing that really amazes me about shit like that and weird movies and strange strange things, somebody that was not like just a YouTube video Chuck Norris put out. He, somebody wrote that script. Another person looked at it, tweaked it. They handed it over to somebody to approve. That person approved it, took it to a board of executives, sent a camera crew. Chuck Norris read it. They edited it into a cartoon, and then it aired. And at no point did any human being go, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Chuck Norris can act? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. This was the 80s. <laughs> and they were lucky to these just cartoons... get Chuck Norris up off from the Coke binge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, these cartoons were made to sell toys. Yep. And then they what? basically had to throw in a really quick and short either PSA or educational segment to get the mother, to get the fucking parents groups off their ass. Yep. You know. So... Oh, and to appease Ronald Reagan in his war against drugs. You know. They're just so good. You know, kids, cheating on a test is wrong. Tests are there to, to find your weaknesses and make you a stronger person. Be sure to ask for help. Study hard. Everything will be fine. Whenever the claw cheated on a test, I punched him so hard his throat <laughs> caved in. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I wish to God there would have been a Steven Seagal cartoon. <laughs> oh my oh God. Oh my God, that would have been brilliant. Hey, everybody. Wait. 
Wait, no, you know but... what? If he did one today when he's old, fat, and he doesn't ever stand up anymore, and he goes, yeah, I killed like 90 people while yeah. sitting in this very chair. You know what? Hey, kids, do your homework. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> do your homework. Don't do drugs. I'm going to show you how to break a man's arm in 14 different places with one move. <laughs> Yo, who? Was it Van Damme or was it fucking Seagal that got into a altercation with the fucking Green Power Ranger? <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. So, so apparently, so apparently, I don't remember. I, my money is that it was Steven Seagal. Yeah. Apparently, like there's footage of this. Apparently, <laughs> that um, friggin' Jason Dave, uh, Jason David Frank was like somewhere with Steven Seagal, and like gun like Seagal was like calling bullshit on him or something like that. Oh no. It wasn't Steven Seagal, it was Jason David Frank and Jean-Claude Van Damme. It was uh, Van Damme, wasn't it? Okay. It, was Van Damme. it sounds like something Seagal would do, do though. So, okay. It, okay, here's an article. Uh, let's see. Jean-Claude Van Damme attended the premiere of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. While talking, <clears throat> while walking the wed, red carpet, he tried to engage Frank in some friendly banter. Frank refused to speak to him. This turned into a long-running feud between the two. Uh, highlight of this extraordinary feud came in 2010 when Frank came out and challenged Van Damme to a televised MMA fight, which the fighter Jeez. declined. It appeared that the reason behind the most recent flare-up stemmed from Frank being asked to share a dressing room with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, let's see. According to Frank, when one of Van Damme's people asked for a photo with the Rangers actor, Jean-Claude blew up at him. Things escalated further whenever Frank again brought up the subject of the MMA fight, at which point Van Damme lunged at him. Security. Yeah. Security. I remember that. Then, I remember that. Security then intervened and parted the two, but not before the Green Power Ranger managed to successfully entangle the Universal Soldier in a headlock. <laughs> Yo, hey, Jason, Jason David Frank will throw hands, man. I guess. He's, he's Tommy Oliver don't fighter. Yeah. He, Tommy Oliver don't screw around, dude. The motherfucker put Jean Claude Van Damme in a headlock. He yeah. incapacitated Time Cop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a reason why he's the best Fire Ranger, man. You know, you think about it. You think about it. Uh, Aside from the one that killed a guy with a sword? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. From Wild Force? Yes. Whoopsies. Yeah. Um, Oopsie. Yeah. The, the thing is, though, John Clyde Van Damme has done how many movies? Yeah. Jason David Frank has been the Green Power Ranger and had to do that kung fu shit day in and day out. He's, yeah. He is the epitome of the Bruce Lee quote, I don't fear the man who's practiced a thousand punches. I fear the man who's practiced one punch a thousand times. <laughs> what, you're, what you're saying is, is Jason David Frank is the one punch man. Don't fuck with the Power yes. Rangers. <laughs> No, yeah, honestly, that's I'm, like the only man that will come back to power. Like you don't even have to ask him; he'll come back regardless. He loves Power Rangers. Yellow Yellow Ranger has a dick too. That scares me as well. I see the bulge. The the, the Japanese version did yes. <laughs> oh man. Well, so, anyway, man. Chuck Norris was on cocaine when he did those PSAs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have some. Yeah, that, that. I absolutely love the fact that he has enthusiasm for that yeah. for that role. Cocaine, it's wonderful. Well, no, I mean like, yeah. him being him being the Power Ranger. That like he, I, that's really fun. Yeah, uh, I the way Steven Seagal acts nowadays. He tried to fight or made it look like he fought um, Mike Tyson in a movie, and it was all CGI bullshit. <laughs> and Steven Seagal is so out of shape; it was a fucking mess. And it was, it's one of those things that's so bad it's good. It's just like, wow, Steven Seagal tried to fool an entire audience that he could get away with this shit. Uh, apparently, okay, I looked it up. Chuck Norris does not do cocaine. Cocaine does Chuck Norris. Ah, <laughs> ah okay. We've been fact-checked. Yep, 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 we have. Yep, we have. Oh, fuck. I think this is where we, we put this to an end, don't we? <laughs> Do we yep. gotta yep. this has been this has been a good one this has really been a good this has been the best show of my fucking life this is it <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this the pinnacle of my career right here right now 
Oh, like, that is the most '90s fight ever. Fucking Guile versus the Green Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rap metal of history, except it was settled with fists. Yeah, yeah. Dude, why isn't there that just... epic rap battle of history? <laughs> can, you ima- can you imagine that altercation right before the fight starts? He just, he just says, "It's morphin' time." <laughs> <laughs> And Jean Claude just keeps yelling Sonic Boom. Okay, hold on here. I get okay, here's how we're gonna end it. We're gonna watch the fight. Surely it's here. Uh, Jason, David, Frank. What did it what wormhole have I opened? Claude Van Dam. Okay. Yo, I'm proud to say I have a Jason David Frank figure and it's the evil Tommy Oliver. Here we as go. As Lord Draken. As Lord Draken. Here we go. I've got that. I've got that one too. It's great. Oh, I know it's fantastic. <clears throat> Wait, uh, white suit or black suit? White suit. I have. I don't have the uh, the exclusive one. Yeah. It's oh fighting time. shit! Oh shit! It's gonna go down. Dude, Jason. <laughs> Jason's kind of fucking ripped. Yeah, dude, he's an actual MMA fighter. Yeah. <laughs> That was it? He was like, here, let me play this flute for you. He plays the Dragon Zord song and then throws it at him. <laughs> Honestly, I think he'll just stab him with it because it is a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> it's a flute and a dagger. That's the greatest part about the Dragon Zord. And, and, and then the blood just starts shooting out of the flute holes. Yes. I imagine he stabs him and then he plays the flute anyway. Just was like, I'm going to play this flute with your fucking body. <laughs> Just stab someone in the fucking lung with it, and it just blows it from the inside. (laughs) 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 Oh fuck me! Oh my! I don't think we have any questions this week, do we? Uh, is can anything get more awesome than this? I ask you. It can't. It can't. Thank you so much for joining us on the most triumphant Good Morning Cybertron ever. Go over to the Facebook, check out both of our Facebook pages, the Good Morning Cybertron Facebook page and the Junk Transformers Buy, Sell, and Trade. Do not pull any funny shit while Walter's in the hospital. He will fuck you up. That implant in his brain allows him to know what you're up to. He fucking knew his packages were here. Implant nothing. The spirits listen to me now. (laughs) (laughs) He's fully accepted the Rasputin DNA. He has crossed the veil of life and death and said, nah, I don't like this site anymore. Yeah. He has looked into the void. (laughs) The void has stared back. Walter has slowly begun to masturbate, and the void looks away in <laughs> uncomfort. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm making eye contact. <laughs> oh, my God. This would happen, Death, if you tried to fucking claim me. Like, you look me in the fucking eye. You, fucking you look at the me in the fucking eye while I jerk off. Fucking look me in oh, the God. fucking God. eye. <laughs> fucking thank you to our goddamn Patreon supporters. Oh, holy shit. Especially you, Max Ross Linden, you chunk of fucking goddamn prime. We love you, Max. Grade A <laughs> fucking Jewish man meat. It's kosher throwing, man meat is what it is. While we're throwing names out there, people, on this most triumphant episode. Mm-hmm. Josh, where are you, man? Where the fuck are you? Saw Josh just Bruh. the other day. Josh has his own podcast now. Uh, Does he? Yeah, Hiking the Laurel Highlands. He's doing fantastic with that. Josh has his own podcast. I want to throw a special thank you uh, going out to Technical Jim, who was sweet enough to offer to add some stuff on for me uh, on on an order he was doing for BBTS. I felt really bad because I already had what he offered to add on to me. But, dude... Thank you so much. That, mm, that meant the world to me. It really meant the world to me. It was sweet, sweet move. Um, yeah, I need to find. I need to find Josh's podcast. I think it's called uh, Hiking the Laurel Highlands. He rather do that than Good Morning Cybertron. Well, I Damn. think he gets paid for that. Well, so oh, well, understandable. <laughs> yeah, Hiking the Highlands. Uh, here we go. Yeah. You're gonna love this. Uh, let me uh, share the screen. Boop. Share screen. Pimping it out. So here is Hiking the Laurel Highlands by Joshua Byers. Look, look at how, look at, look at our young man. I 
said, young man. <clears throat> Look at that. Ooh. You know what? We're going to insult him for leaving us. That's nah, okay. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yo, did jo- so how happy was Josh when uh, when Hot Rod got made in uh, Studio Series and a Commander Class Rodimus? Josh, Josh is busy <laughs> loving on his beautiful new wife. True. Uh, yeah, I, I performed Josh's wedding. It was it was fucking great. It was fucking great, and he's married to a wonderful, wonderful woman, Allie. Just absolutely Pope gorgeous. Pope Blunghole. Pope Blunghole. Pope Blunghole. Pope Blunghole. That's nice, but he's still gonna hear it from us. Yeah. Fucking traitor! You left us, you son of a bitch. Still love you. Yeah, we do. We You're really a son do. of a bitch, though. True. Love, Doctor what? Much love going out for these gentlemen from right here, right here. Oh my god! <coughs> and. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Listeners, viewers, thank you for watching. Gentlemen, you know what to do. Say good night. Say, say your ABCs, <coughs> motherfuckers. I'm not even going to mute this. I'm not no, even going to mute night. this this time around, man. Night. No, li- li- all right, man. Not even muted. You guys can no. talk. I don't care. Cool. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm running this sucker oh, yeah. right to the end. Oh, you know yeah. what? I'm going to say the alphabet backwards. Z. Y. <laughs> Doing good. You can keep it up. Uh, e. No. Fuck. No. <laughs> Z-Y-X-W-D-S-R. Uh, Alpha. There we go. Omicron. <laughs> Uh, you bastard. Delta. <laughs> at symbol. Perturabo. Mm, that's a good one. Mm. Some sort of ancient rune that brings out the cursed one. 